All right, Coach, first practice in the books. How would you say it went? Uh, one for one. Uh, good energy. I thought the attention was good. Uh, guys seem into it, and that's what you want. You know, we had a, a long year last year, played a lot of games. We purposely started spring football late. Uh, you want them to, to miss it to the point that they look forward to getting out here, and I thought they responded the way we want. With such an experienced team coming back, do you have expectations of how quickly guys pick things up and get into their rhythm? You know, every year there has to be those base building blocks and fundamentals that you teach. And then at that point, you figure out how fast you can go. Uh, and again, so much about spring for us is developing the depth. And so when the ones go against the ones, there's a certain installation schedule. It's a little slower for the twos and even slower for the threes. And eventually you hope those twos and those threes catch up to the level of the ones. Uh, you know, so on offense, you know, there should be a lot of retention. On defense, a lot of it's brand new. With that brand new defense, what did you see today? Did you see the guys picking it up pretty quickly? Or? Oh, it's, you know, I'm going to give the cliche. I'm going to watch the film. And yeah, I, I would say you didn't see a lot of missed alignments. You didn't see big plays because guys weren't where they were supposed to be. You know, when there's a big play because a guy beats a guy for a post or makes a, you know, a, a 50-50 catch, you know, those are ones you live with. But just off the film or not, or just off of the, the eye from practice, you know, we seem to be aligned and assigned and didn't give up big plays because we didn't know what to do. One guy I saw in the mix a lot uh, with the ones that it like was on defense was Isaiah Wingfield. Is that a guy you really need to kind of take that next step forward this season? We do. If he can kind of do what Donald Stewart did, you know, Isaiah got here after graduating from Harvard last summer and he was coming off of a knee surgery. And, you know, I don't know if he ever was completely healthy. And I think now that he understands like the difference in level of football and what has to happen to play at this level, he is completely bought in. He had a great off season. He's gotten stronger. He's healthy. Uh, really one of those guys, you know, in, in our awakening in the weight room, you know, he, there's a different energy to him. Um, and yeah, we need him to take that next step and we need him to do on defense what Donald Stewart did on offense last year. Good analogy, because that's, seeing him out there with the ones was the first thing that popped off the, off the field to me. I wasn't, wasn't ready for that, so. Yeah, and, and, and he's earned it by his off season. Uh, and, you know, there'll be a lot of guys in that mix. You know, we got Kobe Davis back and uh, Zion's out there. And, you know, even though we don't have Malik, we got Chalen Garns back. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of good players in the mix, but he has put himself with his offseason into that group of guys we're counting on. Santino position change? Can you walk me through that? Yeah, I mean, Santino, if you watch this high school film, he did a great job running the football. And we just got to a point at quarterback with Sam back and with Mitch and, the, and Michael Kern and the progress that Billy made. And, you know, he just wasn't going to get reps at quarterback. And... You know, with his skill set, and he's strong, and he can run, and we get him at running back, and maybe get him involved in special teams, and there's another way to contribute. At running back, is that going to be potentially? Are you going to maybe look for a third guy to go a three guy mix, or are you kind of happy with with the two man rotation? No, we'd love a, a third guy. I mean, it, the the standard it isn't like we want one or want two or want three. Are you good enough to help us win? And if you're over the line, we're going to play you. Um, and so a lot of years that's been two. Some years it was one. Last year we were fortunate it was three. And so whether it's a two-man mix between Justice and Christian or Quentin Cooley or Will Towns or, uh, you know, another young guy comes in here that we signed, you know, there's an opportunity to get a third guy involved. And the more guys we get involved, now those guys can become really good special teams players for us. One of the reasons Christian Beale Smith was able to be such a good special teams player is we had two other playable running backs. With the acknowledgement that it's just day one and everybody's a little upbeat, with your theme of mindset, how do you rate the mindset of the, of the team today? I thought it was excellent. I think they came out here excited to be at practice, excited to be doing football. Uh, you know, when the coaching was going on, they were staring coaches in the eyes, they were applying the coaching. 
and we got better today. And that's the whole theme of spring. You want to be better at the end of it than the beginning. And the only way that can happen between now and April 16th is if there's incremental improvement every day. So we put in work, we had good energy, and I thought we got better. Anything else, guys? Just one more question. Just Jamal Banks is getting a lot of reps out there. What was your expectation for him, your, your goals, and what did you see? Well, I mean, he, right now, he's, he's got to become, he's competing to be the second or third outside receiver. So we, you know, we graduated uh, Ja'Cory, Donald Stewart left. We're moving Taylor Marin inside. Donovan Green is still out. So to me, Jamal Banks has an opportunity to become the next major player for us on the perimeter. You know, we're hoping to have, uh, you know, we got a Torian back. We think we're gonna have Donovan back in a couple of weeks, but you need more than two. And I think it's, it's time, it's Jamal Banks' time to step up and, and he's a good player, but you know, we want him to be a, a 40, 50 snap a game guy for us.